Did you know that the Japanese animation studio Kara, which created well-known and renowned shows such as Evangelion, has switched in the last couple of years to using Blender as the primary software for their upcoming anime shows? First of all, they were all animated with 3D software and not 2D software. Secondly, Blender was used somewhere along the way in making these movies. So I wanted to talk about the process of making 2D animated movies using 3D software especially the VFX part. Also, we want to talk about the anime style VFX cause it is kind of an interesting subject to talk about. Anime style VFX has become increasingly popular in the entertainment industry, particularly in live action films, TV shows and video games. This unique style of animation and special effects draws inspiration from the world of Japanese anime and it is characterized by exaggerated movements, vibrant colors, and stylized energy effects that brings a sense of excitement and dynamic movement to the screen. One of the key technical aspects of anime VFX is the use of particle effects to create dynamic explosions, in addition to energy blasts and other effects with a tangible particle-based quality. Particle systems are used to generate and animate large numbers of small particles, such as smoke, dust, or sparks, to create a wide variety of effects. These particles can be combined with other techniques, such as motion blur and depth of field, to create complex and visually stunning scenes, which we can see a lot of them recently. Another important aspect of anime VFX is the use of cell shading to give 3D models the look of 2D anime art. This technique involves applying flat, color shading to 3D models to simulate the look of traditional hand-drawn animations, which is something that a lot of studios are using recently and you can see it when watching anime shows that are airing recently if you pay a close attention to them. The result is a unique blend of 3D modeling and 2D animation that captures the essence of anime style. Also, camera angles are a crucial element of anime VFX because dynamic camera angles are often used to emphasize the action or dramatic tension. For example, we have low angles to make the characters appear more powerful or high angles to show vulnerability. These camera techniques help to create a sense of movement and energy that is characteristic of anime VFX. In a nutshell, anime style VFX is an easier and visually stunning way to enhance the look of live action films, TV shows, and video games. So, by using techniques such as particle effects, cell shading, and dynamic camera angles, anime VFX artists can create amazing and immersive experiences that can capture the essence of the anime style. And to achieve this kind of art, artists use a variety of software depending on their preferences. One of the most popular applications is Adobe After Effects which is widely used for creating a wide range of visual effects and motion graphics. This is the case because it offers a wide variety of tools in addition to other features for compositing, animation, and motion graphics, making it a versatile and powerful tool for creating anime style VFX. Another popular software is Autodesk Maya, which as we all know is a 3D modeling and animation software commonly used in the entertainment industry. Maya provides a wide range of tools and features for creating 3D models, characters, and animations, which can then be combined with other techniques such as particle effects and cell shading to create anime-style VFX. Moreover, Unity can also be used to create this type of effects such as the ones we can see in games like Genshin Impact. Just to be clear, various VFX techniques can be combined to create anime-style effects using Unity which provides a wide range of tools and features for building immersive and interactive experiences. Also, Blender is emerging in the industry since it became popular in the last few years, and it is being more often used in the creation of anime-style VFX. This is basically because Blender has a lot of potential, since it offers a wide range of tools and features for modeling, animation, and compositing. In addition to that, Blender can handle Toon Shader really well, in addition to line art, which helps a lot when making anime style VFX. And to make things better for Blender users, there are a lot of add-ons offered by the large community of Blender users, which can help with this type of work. Some of the add-ons include Easy Fire, 
and Electro Blender add-ons. But I have to tell you about something that gives Blender a huge advantage, and that is Geometry Nodes, which helps massively. Generally speaking, regardless of the software people use, the niche of anime-style VFX is rapidly growing, especially in the world of visual effects, and it represents a great opportunity for artists to showcase their creativity and talent. While the entertainment industry as a whole is highly competitive, the world of anime-style VFX is still relatively small, and less competitive, I might add. This is the case compared to other areas of visual effects. This is partly because this field is a specialized niche that requires a unique set of skills and techniques, and artists who are passionate about anime and have a strong understanding of the style and aesthetics of it can excel in this field. As a result, there are fewer artists specializing in anime-style VFX compared to other areas of visual effects, creating a more manageable and less competitive environment for those who are interested in pursuing this as a career path. Also, I might add, the anime industry is rapidly growing and expanding worldwide, with new anime series and movies being produced every single week at this point. This creates a continuous demand for talented and skilled VFX artists who can create stunning visual effects that can capture the essence of the anime style, which means that this can be the right time to start learning it and emerge in this amazing niche. The resources to learn it though are really hard to find, and you might struggle to find a good high quality course that is provided by a professional who is active in the industry. But you don't have to worry about that anymore because the Colossal platform has just released a new course which is all about how to create a good looking anime style VFX. And for those of you who don't know what Colossal does, well, it is an online learning platform that offers a selection of some of the best courses available. These courses are taught by experts in their industries, including well-known 3D artists and art directors. Since all of these instructors work for popular studios, you can be assured that you are getting the best stuff, because they are gonna teach you from experience. So, they have recently created a new course called Anime Style VFX Production in Blender, and you will get exactly what it says on the title. This training will allow you to find out everything you need to know about how to do 3D animation production workflow, starting with the key functions of Blender, VFX, and filters, which can be used to add colors. You will also discover the structure behind different effects and get tips for combining different materials in a scene to capture the production quality scene in 2D and 3D movies. Your instructor is a Japanese artist called Hiroshi Kanazawa, who is a 3D CG artist, best known for his unique visual production using Blender. He usually works for movies, promotional videos, and music videos, and one of his key strengths is cell shading. So we are very lucky to have an expert such as Hiroshi to share his experience with us and teach us what he learned over the years. The training consists of 21 videos, spanning over 11 hours and 55 minutes. The difficulty is basic, so even beginners can start out with this training. You will only need a short and basic understanding of Blender to be able to follow with the instructor. On a side note, the videos are in Japanese, but you will find English subtitles and you will need to use Blender 3.1 or higher to be able to follow the lessons. Just so you know, the process for creating animations will be covered in detail, with a focus on adding effects with clear explanations, so even Blender beginners can quickly understand the process for creating 3D visuals. Also, 10 different exercises will be included throughout the course to help you understand the concepts and how they are applied. By completing these exercises, you will gain the knowledge necessary to use Blender and you can do that more efficiently and produce your own high-quality 3D or 2D projects. Additionally, you will practice using geometry nodes, in addition to texture logo animation, a variety of expressions with nodes, and a starry sky with a background shader, in addition to practicing materials and practical facts, 2D explosion visual effects, object destruction, lighting, and flames. Generally speaking, you will start by learning Blender basics and versatile node configuration techniques, where you can learn how to express yourself using nodes in a way that takes you beyond simple modeling, which is what we need in this case. After finishing that, 
you will see how effects expressions are created using various features in Blender. You will also learn how to master those features while you will do infinite expressions with procedural effect modifiers. You will as well go over tips and tricks that are essential for creating spectacular action and realistic animations. In addition to insights behind the process of event sequencing, composite acquisition and rendering. And at the end of this training, you will acquire the necessary skills to create your own animation and produce high quality work. As I said before, courses like these are really hard to find, especially done by professionals in the field. Colosso also offers other courses taught by some of the best artists in the industry, which can give you a deep insight into the field about different topics in 2D and 3D. Now, be sure to check out the Anime Style VFX course and let us know what you think of it. Colosso also offers you guys a $30 discount coupon, which you can find in the description down below. So go now to the description to find the link to the course and other courses from Colosso. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.